Hello, it's Zara. And I have a couple things I wanted to share. I had posted a video, or I didn't post it. I made a video on Thursday of this art journal page. And it was so long. It was a start to finish. And I just couldn't bear it. I don't know why. I think I was just sick of myself. Uh, I don't know. And then because of that, because it was so long, I decided to go over to Best Buy, which is like a technology store. And I wanted to look into new cameras and um, microphones, um, getting a new setup because I need to shoot from overhead. I wanna try and get my camera set up overhead um, in such a way that I can paint and do a tutorial without moving the camera all around because I use a little table tripod. So I figured some stuff out about that. Um, it's gonna just take a minute because I gotta get a new camera, I guess. I think I, no, I need a handy cam or a, a camcorder is what I need, not a handy cam. Um, anywho, this is the page I did and I just wanted to share it. I had, my cousin Fran was here last week and we did a canvas and I shared that. I shared the canvas, my cat canvas, and it was so cute. Um, so I recreated it in my art journal. I just felt like it. I love these little kitties and I wanted to show you, I'm going to show you at least how to draw them. Um, and basically that's it. But I was going on and on about um, how I'm so excited now because I, it was about a year ago that I did that canvas confusion video. And it was basically me struggling with mixed media, trying to figure out the process. And I'm so happy that I figured it out. I, I get it. Um, this was when Fran and I were playing she had a green and blue palette in mind. So I just was playing and trying to come up with something that would appeal to her. She She's more of an earth cones girl. So, and then this one, I gessoed over the background and this page, I didn't gesso, I just put some um, book pages down. Anyway, um, I did do this page, which was just all with my Posca paint pens, just playing around, doing a little um, doodling and flowers and stuff and seeing what would that like. I need purple, orange, so I need a few colors. I think I'm going to order them this week. I'll order just a couple more. They're like five bucks per individual pen, um, but they're really awesome, you guys, if you haven't tried them. So then this was when I got my, um, I got the, where are they, the glazes by the Jaco no wait what are who are these by silks here it is silks acrylic glaze luminart anywho i got them i got a set of them and i was just playing with them they're acrylic glaze paints and i just put them down over top of the um tim holtz tissue paper so that was just a background that i did and then I did another one kind of with my Posca paint pens too. Like kind of, I just kind of did a patchwork of color with them. And oopsie. And then I um, just put my paint pens on top. So I've been playing around. Um, yeah, and then this is my cat. I put perfect together, my kitty cats. So I just wanted to show you real quick. Uh, I got the idea for the cats out of one of those... Um, adult coloring books. Fran and I went to a bookstore and I got this one. I ended up getting this one because it was just, you, those of you who watch me know, I always say I'm a copycat, right? So, I mean, I could always color these. I mean, that would be fine too. But like, I just liked the bubble letters and the way the sun is or whatever. Like that's just, this is kind of a peace love one. Oh, I love these dragonflies. See the dragonflies? So I thought I could draw the dragonflies on book pages because <clears throat> I've also figured out um, I like collage. I like to glue down paper. I don't know why. And even like the background on this, and you probably can't even tell. I mean, you can tell by the texture. Like there's a, 
I collage the background just with colorful papers like um, scrapbook paper, paper scraps. Um, I just like it. It's fun. Like, it's just fun for me to collage things. <clears throat> so when I got this, like, look at this yin-yang right here. Oh, that's the owl. Like, I like the owl. I like the yin-yang. I just liked a lot of the shapes in here. Oh, I love the sun. See the sun? Like, I would just love to play and draw it myself and then paint it in my art journal. Make art, not war. <laughs> that's so, so cute. So anyway, so I was inspired by... The cat was actually in another book. Um, where's my little sketchbook? Right here. Um, and I took a picture of it with my phone. And then I uh, came home and I practiced drawing it. So I wanted to show you that. Um, it's a pretty simple technique to get this little cat. Those of you who like cats. Um, so yeah, here's like my little renderings that I did. But it basically starts out with a triangle. So I just started playing with it from the picture that was on my phone. And there was a front-facing cat and a side-facing cat. So, oops, sorry. See, that's because I have a tripod on my desk. I don't want it there. Um, so I just drew a bunch more. But then this one was the one that I did in the video that I erased now. I made this video really long of this me making this whole page. And I erased it because I just, I can't stand... I was just, it was way too long. Anyway, um, so here, I'm gonna do this again. So I did this little cat, and I'm gonna show you the version of the front sitting cat and the, um, I'm gonna put this to the side of me. I think you'll be able to see just fine. So you start out with a triangle shape. I kind of make a neck, and then you go to the side. Little triangle, right? So for the front sitting cat, you make his little side feet here, like this is his back feet. And then you make like a shoulder and come down for his front. That's what I do. I kind of go out and make a shoulder. And then that's the front feet. And you can put little paws there. And then for the head, it was a really simple, for the boys, I tend to make them have taller heads. Oh, that's totally bad. And they had really big ears in the book that I saw. But I make my boys with a taller head. And it's just the classic cat eye shape. And then like a little... It's just the classic um, cat face, you know? And then I put little hairs in his ears and whiskers. Today's my son's birthday. Anyway, we had a bar. I'm exhausted. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. Then, so that's the front facing cat. And then for the side facing cat, it's very similar. Go, I start with the neck and then go down triangle. And instead of, so you're gonna make them, kind of give them a butt. And that's his back leg. So that's his, and then you would make his tail come up like that and then I give him like you figure he has a chest and a belly right so his belly's going to go there and his little front paw will go in the front and the back paw is right there so you don't have to have this line and then for the girls I like them to have a little bit of a wider face I don't know why it just makes them look different and I make them like have a smaller nose and a little bit more sexier eyes. So that's it. <clears throat> and when you cut them out, cut out all this. And there you go. And then I give them a little collar. And I blinged out their collars. For him, I put, um, oh, I'm going to run out of time. All right, I'm going to come back and show you some other stuff that I've been up to. All right, you guys. So hopefully that helped. I'm going to do another um, journal, art journal page, start to finish, um, but I'm not going to talk so much. You'll see. All right. Thanks for watching.